Hello and welcome to another episode of On My Bookshelf, where today I'm going to be looking at Seascapes by Neil Burnell. So I've been following Neil's work for a few years now, and I've done this for a couple of reasons. First of all, he's a local photographer. He's from Brixham and Devon, which means that he's going out and shooting images of my local area, spots and locations that I often visit myself. But more than that, it's his mastery of long exposure. Neil is creating images that really inspire my own long exposure work, but also they're at such a high level, it gives me something to aspire to as well. So let me tell you a little bit about the book. It's published by Kozo Books and is part of their Landscape Edition series of books featuring photographers from all over the world. This book, Seascapes by Neil, is actually his second edition book and features over 40 of his fine art seascape images. The book is small, but it is packed full of high quality photographs. Also, when you get the book, you also get um, a print as well of one of Neil's uh, fine art landscape images, so that's a nice little bonus there. But let's take a look inside the book and see what's inside. So here's the book here. If we open it up, on the first page, we've got a little bio here from Neil. Tells us a bit about his local area and how he's been developing his passion for photography. Now, this is the only text that's actually in the book. Um, as we go through the photographs, there's no technical information about how they were shot or how they were processed. But when I show you the photographs, what you'll find is that there's a, a distinct style to Neil's pictures, sort of very ethereal, kind of... Um, almost dreamy aspect to his long exposure photography. And I think actually not knowing how those images were exactly created, that air of mystery that they got, I think suits the tone of this book very well. So the first two photographs I want to talk about are these two images of the outdoor pool here. First of all, it's the style of the photographs. These are almost instantly recognizable as Neil's work. Nice long exposure and the use of the sort of limited color palette. But also Neil's timing to visit this location has obviously been well chosen because um, they've got the water coming up over the side of the pool here. So it's either been at the end of a storm or a very high tide. So about knowing your area really well to help you get the most out of the location is very important. And then we've got these two photographs of the waves crashing over these railings here. Now, unlike the previous images, which were probably very long exposures, these are a little bit shorter. Now, obviously done this so we can maintain some of the texture and the, the sort of the movement in the waves um, to really give this kind of picture a real feeling of drama. These two photographs are probably some of my favorites in the book. I really like the way that Neil has shot and processed these, the way he sort of isolated this rock in the frame and then used a really long exposure and the color palette that he's used in the processing. They're almost otherworldly. Not all of Neil's work was shot during the day as we can see from this nighttime seascape. Got this beautiful line of rocks heading out into the sea and then you catch the Milky Way as it streaks up through the sky. Absolutely stunning. And then we have this image of these stilted beach huts. This is actually an award-winning image. It won your view category in this year's Landscape Photographer of the Year, and I can see why. In the book, Neil also includes some of his black and white long exposure images. Here we can instantly see this is a picture of Durdle Door. Now, Durdle Door, as we all know, is a heavily photographed um, spot, but as you can see, Neil has managed to produce something quite unique with this picture. And for the final image in the book, it's of these beach huts here. Now I know where this location is, but you know, I'd never considered taking this shot before, uh, but Neil has beautifully executed it here. We've got the long exposure giving a nice texture in the sky, but then he's used all the lines and the two different tones here of the concrete slabs here, produce a really stunning image. Well, I do hope you enjoyed that brief look at Seascapes by Neil Burnell. If you do want to pick up a copy of this book, I'm going to include a link to it in the video description below. But please do hurry, this is a limited edition book, so if you want to get yourself a copy, I'd head over there as soon as possible. Now, if you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment. I do try and read and reply to everyone's comments. And if you want to see more content like this, please do consider hitting the subscribe button. And if you do, make sure you click on that bell icon, that way you'll receive a notification as soon as I post up a new video. But until the next one, I'll see you then.